So I flipped on the boob tube, nursing a hangover that felt like a runaway mariachi band in my skull, when this trailer for The Killer's Game explodes onto the screen. Now I've seen my fair share of Hollywood dreck, but this one hooked me faster than a Tijuana donkey race. We got this washed up hitman named Joe Flood, looking like a Hemingway impersonator who's seen too many sunsets and too much bottom shelf hooch. Turns out the Grim Reaper himself served Joe an eviction notice, a terminal illness. What's a bored assassin to do? Why, hire himself whacked, of course. Who do you want retired? Me. Seems Joe's little retirement plan stirred up a hornet's nest bigger than Vegas on a fight night. Then, wham! A plot twist so convoluted it'd make your head spin faster than a carnival tilt a -whirl. Now Joe's gotta dodge bullets, outrun assassins, and maybe even win back his old flame. All while facing the horrifying prospect of, you know, actually living. The action sequences look like a Fellini film directed by a crazed stuntman on a PCP bender. Bullets fly, and there's enough mayhem to make a Vegas casino blush. This ain't ballet, folks. It's a full-on brawl in a broken bottle factory. Is it a masterpiece of cinema? Probably not. But is it gonna be a wild ride that'll leave you wanting more whiskey and a cold shower? You bet your sweet ass it is. So if you're looking for a film that'll take you on a bullet-riddled bender through the underbelly of the criminal world, then The Killer's Game might just be your ticket to oblivion. You should smile more often. <laughs> I suit you.